Hello, and thank you for your interest in Komatsu products. Today we'll be discussing the Selective Catalytic Reduction, or SCR tab, found in the monitor of the WA270-8 and WA320-8 wheel loaders. So with that, let's get started. The Selective Catalytic Reduction, or SCR tab, is used to communicate information regarding the SCR system to the operator. During SCR system issues, this SCR information screen will be displayed. A depth level gauge will be displayed at the top of the screen, plus any important messages regarding system function. The diesel exhaust fluid or depth level caution lamp is located below the depth gauge on the main monitor screen. The depth level caution lamp can be three colors, black, white, or red. Each color represents the status of the depth fluid. During most operating conditions, the level caution lamp should be black, indicating normal conditions. A white lamp indicates the depth fluid is frozen, or the level is so low it can't be detected. It is important to note, when the machine is first started, the depth level caution lamp may momentarily be white, and then switch to the appropriate color. This is considered normal and no action is required. A red lamp indicates the depth level has reached 10% or less remaining level, and depth should be added immediately. If the depth level caution lamp illuminates red, perform the following steps. Turn the starting switch to the off position, and add certified depth solution to the tank. Fill the tank with depth solution until the sight gauge displays full. Once the tank is full, make sure the system operating lamp near the battery disconnect switch is off. Turn the starting switch to the on position and check that the depth level gauge displays full. If the gauge does not read full, check the messages on the SCR information tab of the user menu. If please turn the key to the off position is displayed in the SCR information tab, turn the starting switch to the off position and wait for the operating lamp to go out. Once the lamp is out, turn the starting switch on again. This should reset the level and the gauge should read correctly. To encourage proper maintenance and timely repair, the EPA has required all manufacturers to follow an inducement strategy. This inducement strategy will sound a unique audible alarm, warning lamp, and limit engine performance based on the issue severity. With that said, there are five levels of inducement associated with depth level. Each level will cause the SCR information screen to appear when the machine is placed into neutral and will indicate the level of inducement plus provide instructions. Level inducements change based on the actual depth solution level in the tank. At the 10% level, warning inducement level 1 is triggered. This is an L01 fault, with no buzzer and no power reduction. If the machine continues to operate and the depth level falls to 5%, warning inducement level 2 is triggered. Still an L01 fault, the buzzer beeps in triplet, no power reduction. If the machine continues to operate and the depth level falls to 2.5%, mild inducement level 3 is triggered. This is an LO3 fault. The buzzer beeps intermittently and the engine power is reduced by 25%. If the machine continues to operate and the depth level falls to 0% full, severe inducement level 4 is triggered. This is an LO4 fault. The buzzer sounds continuously and the engine power is reduced 50%. In addition, a timer starts counting down 60 minutes. When the timer reaches 0 minutes, final inducement level 5 is triggered. This is an LO4 fault. The buzzer sounds continuously and the engine is locked in low idle. Depth level triggered inducement can be cleared by very simply powering down the machine and refilling the depth tank with certified depth solution. There are also inducements that can be triggered by system or component abnormalities. These inducement levels are triggered by time since the first fault is detected. For example, if an SCR related component fails right now, the machine goes into warning inducement level 1 for the first hour. L01 with no buzzer and no power reduction. If the machine continues to run, warning inducement level 2 starts at the beginning of the second hour. L01 with buzzer sounding triplets, no power reduction. If the machine continues to run, mild inducement level 3 starts at the beginning of the third hour. L03 is displayed, buzzer is intermittent, engine power reduced by 25%. If the machine continues to run, severe inducement level 4 starts at the beginning of the fourth hour. LO4 with a continuous buzzer. Power is reduced by 50%. If the machine continues to run, final inducement level 5 starts from the beginning of the fifth hour of operation. 
Still an LO4 warning with a continuous buzzer. The engine power is locked at low idle. The operator has the ability to temporarily restore the engine power output during inducement from the SCR tab. This is designed to help the operator get the machine to a place where service can be performed. This function is not intended to allow the machine to keep working. This restoration function will only work when the machine is in severe inducement level 4 and it only restores the machine to mild inducement level 3. This function is offered in three 30-minute segments. For example, if level 4 inducement is reached and the operator uses one of the 30-minute restoration functions, the engine power will be restored to a level 3 function, which is a 25% reduction of engine power instead of a 50% reduction level 4. It is important to note if the operator shuts off the engine during one of the 30-minute sessions, the remaining time for that session is lost. It is also important to note that if the problem that places machine in level 4 inducement changes to level 5, final inducement, the temporary recovery is canceled. This concludes the SCR tab for Komatsu's WA270-8 and WA320-8 hydrostatic wheel loaders. If you need any additional information or have any questions, please reference the operation and maintenance manual located inside the cab. Thank you for your interest in Komatsu products.